Hello, everyone. You're listening to Scientific Healing Radio, and I'm your host, Dr. Anastasia Chopolis. It's about hormonal imbalances, and it seems like every time I turn around, people are being diagnosed with that, and I get lots and lots of phone calls from people that are telling me my doctor just told me that I'm, I'm deficient in either progesterone or testosterone, and they, and they need to supplement. And of course, that also includes insulin, which isn't really a hormone, it's a polypeptide and it also includes thyroid, which is the number one prescription in the United States. Like, why? This didn't used to happen, really? And it doesn't matter whether you get these natural compounded things or whether you get the chemistry. It's still something that we really need to explore, like what's going on here. And with me in this conversation is my fabulous co-host, Gwen Leppard. Hi, Gwen. Hi there, Anastasia. I'm really excited that we're going to talk about this because I'm very interested in it. <laughs> I'm sure many others <laughs> will be as well. It's uh, really I'm... happening for me right now. And, uh, you know, there's more and more specialists on just hormone balancing and it's, it's, it's an epidemic. And, you know, I just, just had a doctor prescribe me progesterone cream because, you know, compounded because of course it's supposed to be natural for, you know, as a, as a naturopathic doctor. And I'm, I'm really struggling with this because it feels like I should be able to use the, um, the energy magic or energy medicine and, and food and diet and detoxing to, to, to balance this. And where am I going wrong? How can you help? <laughs> 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 well, and it, well, of course, it makes you wonder why this is such a problem. And before we get into uh, into it, let's talk about what some of the symptoms are, like what people are feeling or suffering, and they're going in and they're just telling their doctors things. And I, I just had a call from someone yesterday who um, said the exact same thing. Like she walked in and she says, I had this flu back in December and I haven't been able to sleep since. And so my doctor gave me sleeping pills and those didn't work. And then my doctor gave me hormones and that didn't help. And then my doctor gave me antidepressant and that didn't help. And so why would adding chemicals to an already sick body change anything it won't and what will happen is that they'll cover up the symptoms and so what are some of the symptoms and one of them i just named and that's lack of sleep like people put their head down they might be able to fall asleep and then an hour or two later they wake up and then they're sitting up and going okay now what i'm really tired i put my head down on the pillow i get nice and warm i drank my chamomile tea i took my melatonin and i'm still like wide awake here <laughs> not able to sleep so that's a really big warning sign and there are others like uh, having severe perimenopausal symptoms that you are bloating and releasing and, uh, you know, having a very heavy, heavy flow and heavy problems and lots of pain and things like that, maybe even developing fibroid tumors or, or worse and um, also having severe fluctuations in moods, especially if you're, if you're not quite into menopause yet, um, to have these really severe fluctuations in mood. And Gwen, you mentioned something. Yeah, yeah. well, and, and I, you know, lack of energy has been one of them. It's like, I'll, I'll, I'll go, like maybe have a couple of good hours like you used to, and then I'm just like, oh, I, I know I don't have the energy to go forward anymore. And, and that's, you know, yeah, as, as an entrepreneur, that, that's, that can be devastating. Add the stress of, you know, building a business onto, you know, having symptoms like brain fog and not even be in the middle of a conversation with a potential client and lose the train of thought completely, lose my words, be searching. And, you know, it really comes off kind of, you know, like you don't have your stuff together. <laughs> and, yeah. you know, and you of all people, right? You of all yeah. people. And another one, of course, is hair loss. Like you lose yeah. you know, my eyebrows. Your, my eyebrows. Right? And you're here. They're all, like they're. I don't need to pluck them. They're all gone in here. Yeah, my goodness. And um, then inability to lose weight. Like a lot yeah. of people, they struggle. Like I'm one of those. I don't. I don't lose weight. If I go on a, I I don't eat very much every day. I um, eat actually very little. 
um, mostly, you know, fruits and vegetables, mostly on the heavy on the vegetables and light on the fruit mm-hmm. and, um, you know, and green shakes and things. And when you, add, when it's all said and done, it's under a thousand calories a day. And I go for a five mile walk. Now you would think that I would be a bean pole at that point. And um, I'm 30 pounds heavier than I, than I was at my, my favorite weight. And that's not comfortable for a lot of us, like 30 pounds. Imagine you're carrying, you know, six, five pound bags of flour around with you all the time. It's It's not, it's very exhausting. And I remember I used to fly up out of my seat and now it's not so bad. I'm really strong, but it's not comfortable. So these symptoms are, you know, all showing that there's something off in your body. Well, and, and something that, that, that I'm curious about, because you're talking about perimenopausal and, and you and I are both past menopause. I'm, I'm eight years past my, you know, my last period. So, you know, why am I still struggling with this stuff, you know, and, and so many people are being diagnosed and suffering with these kinds of symptoms. So I'm really wondering why, because as you yeah, say, we're not designed to be sick. We're not designed to be sick. And in postmenopausal, things that you'll notice is that all your membranes, including around your eyes and your all your soft mucous membranes, um, up your nose, and your skin will be super duper dry. So that's mm-hmm. another signal that, right? And you'll notice that you'll wrinkle really fast. Like Yeah, that's been yeah. happening. Just like the last couple right. of months, it's like, ah, <laughs> right? And it, it comes on like super fast where it shouldn't. It should be like gradual. And um, if you lose that vitality in your skin and the flexibility and you start developing age spots on the back of your hands, right? And um, I, I don't have any. You can see, I, I mean, it, you can see I don't have any. And yeah. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit older. Too. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't have anything. Not and, at all. Yeah. Right? So so the, the, those things are all signals that there's something that's a little off. So now let's explore where we could go and why we are, are getting these things. 